Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 23rd, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And uh, you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have rallied the last two trading days. But we are running into major resistance here at the middle of the bullish banner or the 20 exponential moving average. So if we manage to break above here, then we are probably going to test the 50 moving average up at the 30... Uh, 34k and um, after that 300 moving average and the base at the top of the bullish band but at this current state it doesn't really look very good we are we are basically uh, slowing down here after this major fall and overstretched conditions and the uh, rally was always expected so if we get rejected here then we are most likely going to go and test the 30k yet again and if that basically breaks then 25 and 20k will most likely be the be the next targets we are basically in the descending triangle and the move is basically 10,000 points to the downside where we are uh, roughly from the breakout here. So 20k should be basically the target. Uh, so this could have could be just a bounce before the plunge and um, we were very low on the RSI and I didn't expect it to basically break down here as we were on in basically oversold conditions. But now the RSI is nearly 50 and... Uh, we could see this basically break down and that will be a rough road for Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market as a whole. To the upside, um, if we manage to break above the 40 uh, level that's up here, that's saying something, you can see that there was major resistant in the past, then we could be basically talking about going back to the all-time highs, but that looks like a really long way and um, even... Elon Musk's uh, ridiculous tweet it didn't really do anything to this market or even it hasn't really done anything yet. So what happens tomorrow or later on that we will basically see. But but usually those tweets uh, had major effects on the market. You have these moves here when some of those very famous people came out and endorsed the Bitcoin and so on. So but we're not seeing that at this current current stage. So let's look at Ethereum. Yes, Ethereum very similar. Hit the bottom here, got very overstretched, over, uh, nearly oversold, and then we have rallied up towards the middle of the bullish band. So this has rallied up towards the middle and the 50 moving average before it basically breaks down. So you can see it here, here, and we just go lower and lower. And if we turn around here, if Bitcoin basically falls, then this will most likely fall with it. And at the moment, we are struggling at the middle of the bullish band, 200 moving average just above. And if we basically fall here, then it's almost a guarantee that we'll have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average. And that is a long term, really bad sign for this market. Then we are uh, most likely going to drop below the 300 moving average, heading toward 1000 and then towards three dollars for Ethereum. Um, that kind of looks like what is going to occur here, but you'll see. Break above the 50 moving average, and then we are probably going to go much higher, but then Bitcoin should also be going significantly higher. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly, uh, well, they're fairly becoming bullish, mainly due to this uh, rally the last two trading days. MACD is uh, bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck, and thank you very much.